Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In this video, we will consider the concept of inverse discrete Fourier transform that is represented as IDFT. In the previous video lecture, we considered uh, discrete Fourier transform and derivation for that. In this video, we will consider the derivation for IDFT. Is that okay? So before I consider the derivation, I will represent X of K. So what is X of K? x of k is dft of x of n. So let me write x of k is equal to dft that is discrete Fourier transform of the input signal x of n. So now I want x of n. So what is x of n? So it must be inverse dft that is i dft of x of k. Is that correct? So now uh, always be aware that x of n it is uh, small letter x and small letter n that is uh, the discrete time signal x of n. How do I represent x of k? x of k here x is uh, capital and uh, k is uh, small. So this representation we must be aware of uh, in, the, in the videos to come as well. Yes, I'll come back. x of k is the dft, x of n is idft. So how do I get the expression for uh, x of n? That I need to consider. So let me write x of n is equal to i d f t of x of k. So what is the expression for this? So we have the expression for this as 1 divided by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k w n to the power minus k into n wherein n varies from 0 to n minus 1. So this is the formula for IDFT. So how do I consider the proof? So let me now consider the proof for IDFT. I can consider x of n first and prove it equal to this expression one way. Another way is I will consider this proof as well. Uh, this proof in the first go itself and I will make it equal to x of n. Are you getting it what I am saying? There are two approaches for the proof. One is consider x of n and get towards the end get this as the proof. One way. Another way is get this, consider this in the first uh, approach itself, in the first go itself and towards the end make this equal to x of n. So that uh, I can uh, say this is uh, the expression for x of n, IDFT. Is that okay? The second approach is much easier consider compared to the first approach. So hence I will stick on to the second approach. So what I do is I will consider this expression and I will make it equal to x of n. That is the best way and that is the easiest way uh, to get the proof for IDFT. Is that okay? So now what I do is I will consider consider uh, RHS. That is uh, the proof itself. That is uh, 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k w n to the power minus k into n is equal to. So what is that equal to? That equal to, so let me consider that. Uh, let me write 1 by n as it is. A summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 also as it is. So now I have x of k. What is x of k? x of k I said it is d of t of x of n. What is the formula for this? We know already know the formula. So now let me write that in the uh, flower bracket. Summation. It is n equal to 0 to n minus 1. But I don't consider n because I already have uh, n over here. So hence I will use a different variable. This time let me uh, write it as m equal to m equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of m w n to the power k into m. Correct? That is the expression for x of k that I have written here. I am left with w n to the power minus k into n. So only to avoid the confusion between this n and this n. That's why I represented this as in terms of m. Otherwise I would have written in terms of n. But one would get confused between this n and this n. Hence I changed the formula of x of k uh, with the variable m. That is the only uh, uh, change. Yes. So now if I consider that I can uh, combine few terms. So let me write that equal to 1 over n summation. First. I will take uh, 
summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1, I will take this thing out. So I will write this summation first. I can interchange the summation. Interchanging the order of summations can be done. So let me write interchanging interchanging the order of summation interchanging the order of summation first i will write 1 by n as it is i will write summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of m first what i am left with i have written this summation i am left with the summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 so let me consider that summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 what i have i have wn to the power km and wn to the power minus kn is that okay so let me write wn to the power i will take minus out from these things these two terms and k is the common term i will write it i'll take k out as well as a minus sign out what i'm left with if i take minus sign out i'll i'll get n first minus m is that correct? So if I take minus sign inside it is uh, wn to the power k into n minus kn plus a into wn to the power plus km what I have now. Is that correct? Have you understood uh, that this what I have the change I have done here? Yes. Once it is done, next what I do is I'll write it can be shown that it can be shown that I will consider the inner summation. What is that? Summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1. I have wn to the power minus n minus m k. So what is that equal to? This is equal to I would write capital N if when under the condition n equal to m what do you mean by this if i in this expression if i put n equal to m what i'm going to get m and m would be going to cancel i'm going to get w n to the power 0 w n to the power 0 is nothing but 1 and i'm going to get let me write here i'm going to get summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 of 1 so what is the summation of this summation of this is going to be n is that correct so this I can get it from the geometric series which we have learnt in high schools. Is that correct? So as summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 of 1 is nothing but n. So this can be proved I said uh, using geometric series. So with, if I made n equal to m I am going to get n. What if n is not equal to m? n is not equal to m. It can be proved to be equal to 0. That can also be done but that is out of scope hence I will not consider it. I will just say if n is not equal to m I will write it as 0 straight away. Is that correct? That is equal to now if I can uh, this expression I will reduce it and I will write it only n. When is that? Under the condition n is equal to m. So writing this is not the best way of uh, representation using mathematics. So instead of this what I do is that is equal to n when that gets multiplied with del of n minus m. Is that correct? So I will represent the same thing. Uh, I will multiply with del of n minus 1. What do you mean by this? If I put m equal to n equal to m, I am going to get del of 0. What is del of 0? Del of 0 is 1. That is unit impulse signal. So, so I represented it using unit impulse signal. If n is not equal to m, then it is going to be del of uh, n minus m turns out to be 0. Hence everything is 0. Is that okay? So instead of writing uh, these two answers, I combined and I have written in only one step using uh, unit impulse signal. Now moving on further, I will consider the expression uh, of the earlier one and I write, I replace that uh, with n into uh, del of n minus m. So that changes to summation. So let me write uh, 1 by n summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 what I have and that gets multiplied with uh, x of m. And this summation uh, for this I have got the result as n into del of n minus m. Is that correct? So now what is that equal to? So that can again uh, be written as uh, if, you, if you see here I have uh, 1 by n 
and uh, this n is a constant that comes out i will write it here n and n would cancel I'll, later i'll cancel them out yes now i have uh, summation m equal to 0 to n minus uh, uh, n minus 1 x of m del of n minus m so what is this equal to n and n would cancel i'll cancel them but this summation i'll again reduce it what is that equal to x of n is the sequence uh, i have to consider it from 0 to n minus 1 i have to summation i have to take the summation and that is getting multiplied with del of n minus m what is del of n minus m it is unit impulse signal that has been shifted to the position m and such a signal is getting multiplied with x of m so what is uh, the result result is going to be x of m itself are you getting it? Del of n minus m, this exists at, uh, this is the time shifted version of unit impulse signal. Where it has been shifted, it has been shifted to m. And x of m, though it exists from 0 to n minus 1, as it is getting multiplied with this uh, time shifted version of unit impulse signal, I am ultimately going to get only x of m. Is that correct? Because del of n minus m exists only in that uh, position m. Is that okay? So this is a trickier uh, answer for this. One should be aware of this. How summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of m into del of n minus m. I have written it as only x of m. I can write this using shifting property. Shifting property of unit impulse signal of impulse signal I can write it as x of m since m is a dummy variable since m is a dummy variable it can be replaced with n it can be replaced with n so if it is replaced with n what i'm going to get i'm going to get x of n so this is how i proved uh, the pr the answer uh, itself is equal to x of n so what i had here here i had 1 over n i consider 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k wn to the power minus kn i proved it equal to x of n hence i would say hence the proof so let me write hence the proof so x of n is equal to this answer this proof this derivation i must be aware of it to solve any numericals on idft Yes, this is the derivation for inverse DFT of the sequence x of n, which is equal to 1 over n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k, wn to the power minus kn, n varies from 0 to n minus 1. If there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. I would definitely address those uh, comments. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on digital signal processing. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.